everyone, my name is Lizzie and I'm going to be helping out with Jam for a little bit, delivering those craft packs to you and creating some of these videos. Now I understand that you've spent the last few weeks looking at the Beatitudes, those blessings that Jesus teaches us about. And so this week we're going to be continuing with that theme, this time looking at Matthew chapter 7, which says... Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Now, mercy, it's not a long word, but perhaps it's a word that you don't really understand what it fully means. And so we're going to just have a little chat about what mercy means. Mercy is when you show kindness or compassion or forgiveness towards someone particularly when you're in a position where you could harm them instead. So if I was getting on the bus and the person in front of me suddenly cries out, oh no, I've lost my purse. I can't afford to get on the bus. I could, A, just ignore them. Or I could, B, show them mercy and offer to pay for their bus fare. Or... When I was at school, I remember one time I hadn't done a really big homework project and my teacher, she could have told me off really badly and given me a punishment, but instead, and I don't really know why, she decided to show me mercy and let me off. So this week's Beatitude says, Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. And Jesus tells us a story in the Bible which helps us realise how important it is to be merciful. And I'm going to share that story with you now. So Jesus once said that at the end of time, all the nations of the world will be gathered together and stand before God as he sits on his royal throne. And he said that God was going to separate the people into two groups. On his right, there would be the sheep, and on the left, there would be the goats. So just like a shepherd separates the sheep and goats, God will divide the people. And then Jesus said, God will turn and look at the sheep and say to them, Come, you who are blessed, come into the kingdom prepared for you before creation. And the people on the right, they're a bit confused because they don't really know why they have been chosen to be placed in God's kingdom. But they are so excited because God's kingdom is a great place. But they say to God, Lord, why did we get chosen? And God answers, when I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. When I was a stranger, you invited me in. When I was hungry, you gave me something to eat. When I was in need of clothes, you clothed me. The people had a bit of a think and tried to remember when they had done these things for God, but they couldn't. And then God said, when you did these things for the least person, you did it for me. And then the goats sat on, stood at God's left. They start to moan and they start to say, we want to come into God's kingdom too. But God turns to them and says, when I was thirsty, you gave me nothing to drink. When I was hungry, you left me to starve. When I needed clothes, you ignored me. The people, they try to remember when did they ignore God? And they couldn't. But he said to them, when you didn't do these things for the least person, you didn't do it for me. So that story tells us that when we show mercy to the least person, perhaps to the most undeserving person, maybe to someone who's actually been mean to us or not treated us very nice, it is as though we are showing mercy to God. And when we fail to show mercy to someone, 
It's as though we are refusing to show mercy to God. So this Bible verse uh, that we're reading about in the Beatitudes, it teaches us that if we want God to treat us with mercy, if we want to be blessed, we need to show mercy to others. We need to treat those around us with kindness and compassion and forgiveness. So that brings us to the end of today's video. But you should have received through your letterbox a little sheep craft. And that's just to remind us that we want to be like those sheep, the people on God's right, who show mercy to others and are blessed in return. So I hope you all have a great week. God bless and goodbye.